Good morning, ladies. Unity is a versatile, user-friendly, and beginner-friendly game engine that is used for 3D, 2D, AR, and VR game experiences. Unity is known for being platform capable, so it really lives by the right once deploy everywhere kind of idea. You can deploy to 25 different platforms, including mobile, desktop, web, Nintendo Switch, literally anything. This is what the Unity editor looks like. Here I have a blank project loaded up and in the center you can see the scene view. The scene view is what the developer uses to edit the world to their liking. So let's make a ground object and import a model of a person. On the left you have the hierarchy panel. This is where you manage all of the game objects that are currently in your scene. And by game object, I mean literally anything that exists in the world. On the bottom we have the project panel. The project panel is where you manage all of your assets for your game, like scripts, models, and materials. And then on the right side, we have the inspector panel. This is where you manipulate all of the data for the game objects that exist in your world. So if you want to change the position of the player, we can tweak its global position values to move it around the scene. Back to game objects. Like I said earlier, everything that exists in Unity is considered a game object. Even the empty object that you can create in the hierarchy panel is considered a game object, even though it doesn't have any tangible existence in the scene view. So we know about game objects, but I want to talk about components. Components are scripts written in C Sharp, more on C Sharp in a minute, that you can attach to your game objects to modify their existence or their behaviors. For instance, let's attach a move component that just rotates the player object throughout the scene. I'll go over how this works in one second. JavaScript used to be the language of choice for Unity, but they've over the years migrated into C Sharp, which is a much faster alternative, and honestly, I think C Sharp is easier to write and understand when working in large projects. C Sharp is an object-oriented language that extends the language of C and C++. But the only difference between C Sharp and the other languages is that C Sharp isn't fucking impossible to understand. So let's open that move script that we attached to our player earlier. Let's start at the top. We initialize a public class with the name of our script. Our class name extends mono behavior, which is the interface that Unity uses for all of its script objects. But honestly, if you're a beginner programmer, this really doesn't matter, so don't worry about it. Where things start to matter is inside the body of our class. As you can see at the top, we have a void start function. This is a predefined Unity function that we override in our class. And this function is fired by Unity on the first frame that renders. This function is usually used for grabbing references to other game objects inside of your script. So here we're making a reference to the player's body that we're going to rotate later in the script. Sorry for interrupting, I just want to go over this really quick. I said I was making a reference to the player object, which I actually am doing right here, but we already have the component attached to the player object in the scene inspector, so we don't actually need to make this reference. So I'm just going to delete that reference and make a reference to the ground object. We won't be using this reference, but it's just for show, just so you can understand. Moving down, we have void update. Again, update is a predefined function by Unity that we override in our class. And as you can tell by the comment, update is called once per frame. But over time, as the frames are drawn and the rotation is added to the player, we see the player smoothly rotating. One thing I want to touch on that's really important in writing update functions is the time.delta time that you see. Time.delta time sounds kind of scary, and it kind of is because it touches into integral calculus, which you really don't need to know. But basically the brief overview is, is that if I'm running this game on my computer compared to my MacBook right here, I would in theory generate more frames per second on my PC in comparison to my MacBook. So in turn, we multiply the rotation vector by time.delta time to negate the difference in frames between machines. So if I were to run this game on my desktop in comparison to my MacBook, when we multiply it by time.delta time, the rotation speed will be congruent between the two systems. All right, I'm sorry, that's like the nerdiest shit I'll talk about in this video, so please keep watching. Next, I wanna talk about Unity's Asset Store. Unity's Asset Store is a collection of Unity and developer-made assets like sounds, materials, prefabs, and complete project packages that can accelerate development. And Unity has literally so many predefined systems that I could literally yap on about for hours. Like the physics system, which makes simulating physics a breeze, the animation system, which is great for animating player models, the particle system, which its function is pretty much in the name, and graphics and audio and literally so much more. And like I said earlier, building and deploying with Unity is literally a breeze. There's so many different build settings that the developer can tweak so that they can deploy to all sorts of platforms. So you can build two versions of your game for mobile and for desktop, and then just check the boxes as you go down the build settings and deploy to those platforms automatically. Unity is great, and I've used it for game design in the past, but it doesn't really just stop at game design. 
I've seen plenty of people that make cinematics with Unity, who simulate physics applications, and so much more. And this is only really possible because of its super robust scripting system. But yeah, in sum, Unity has a huge variety of capabilities, and it proves its suitability for indie developers and even large game studios. But yeah, the final thing I want to talk about when it comes to Unity is what do I think about it? 6 out of 10. Game developers don't make jack shit in terms of money. <laughs>